Welcome back. As we kickstart a brand new week, you're live with Expresso. Now, the Springboks are into their final few weeks of preparations for the Rugby World Cup. In fact, less than 18 or just under 19 days to go. And now, as the 31-man squad has been announced to take on the biggest challenge in the sport, they were announced on Friday evening in Derbs. A couple of surprises when it comes to the squad, a couple of no-brainers there, but I think all of it really worthy of discussion. We invited Bok legend Peter Muller into the studio yeah, um, to unpack a very representative squad, but so much political pressure going into the squad announcement. Um, Heineken must have had a tough, tough couple of weeks coming to this final squad, balancing all the different agendas. I, th I think if you listen to uh, um, last night, uh, Friday night as well, I think yeah. he said, you know, it's a difficult one. And I don't, I don't think political, I think there's a lot of pressure from outside. You know, I think got a lot of uh, trade unions and everyone yeah. involved. And I think, you know, I think he d done a great job. You know, I think with the players, there are always going to be players that are going to miss out. I think, you know, he talked earlier on about uh, Reinach. Yeah. You know, but Rudy, again, he's a solid player. You know, I think he... Um, we, we, he was picked, you know, for certain things that he does well. You know, yeah. where Reinach's a bit more jittery sometimes, you know, and just don't know what he's going to do. And I think World Cups need to be won. Well, this is it. It might not necessarily be um, a bad choice strategically because Rudy is a good call. He's dependable. He's got a great boot on him, which we know is vital in a World Cup structure. And I think a lot of the choices that are being touted as being political aren't necessarily that. They yeah. are strategic. And going to a World Cup, you've got to look at the bigger picture. Um, but I think um, Kovas, it looked like Heineken was almost talking directly to Kovas yeah. when he was making that apology. Yeah. A couple of other players that I think can feel aggrieved to not be there. When we look at um, France staying, I think a lot of people thought he might be there. Obviously, he struggled with injury this year. Marcel Kutsia, another one who is, I think, heartbroken over the injury concerns that he's had. Kovas Ryan Reinach, we've mentioned Heinrich Brissot. Mm. Um, we don't really have another fetcher of his kind of stature in that squad. No, I agree with you, but uh, if you look at uh, Francois Lowe, you know, we've got a fetcher there, we've got Brain, right you know, ball, so yeah. I think if you, if you have another fetcher there, I think, you know, some guys <laughs> will not be doing any work on the field. So I think, again, you know, Marcel, it's a bad one, you know, I think yeah. he just missed out. But I think CS gives us also options as well, you know. So I think, you know, by going into World Cup, you have to look at options, you know, and, and there's certain players playing double positions or three positions. Well, exactly that, covering different roles. And when we look at the back line, we're seeing a similar sort of effect there. I think the big question around John de Villiers, he is our captain, we need him there. I think everyone does realise this. But when you've got the likes of Jesse Creel, who can cover at 12, who can cover at 13, who can cover at wing, a lot mm -hmm. of people saying that maybe um, Jean, you know, was a bit of a question, certainly with his injury. That's the big question. Injury woes going into this. Do you think he's taken a bit of a gamble, taking players who have been injured this close to the World Cup? When you talk just about uh, injuries, you know, I think a lot of guys are coming back, but hopefully they're fresh, you know, they yeah. want to play. And so uh, I think, you know, looking at John, yeah, what a great comeback. But again, you know, he's a captain. He's, I think he, we need him there. I think the uh, in form at the moment is uh, Damien and yeah. Jesse, uh, Jesse, you know, so that will be my uh, starting uh, pick, you know. And I think, you know, John coming off the bench, you can't have it better than that. Well, exactly. And we've got the balance of experience. I think there's a thousand... Um, collective caps going into the World Cup for the Springboks. So we're going to chat a little bit more about that balance of experience and youth in just a moment. But thank you so much. I know you pour your heart and soul into the Bok Legends, so <laughs> awesome to have you here. Um, and we'll continue our discussion in just a moment. Thank you. All right, well, let's get into our national news this morning and we'll do another recap of that new squad.